We can test it out now. I'm going to click the phone link on my mobile device. It'll open up the option to place a call and we can click call now which will open up the phone application and place a call to your business. Great job. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a clickable phone number to your WordPress website with the Sydney theme or with any theme really so that um, when your customers are viewing your website mobile on their iPads or iPhones, or Android, Blackberries, whatever, they can click on the phone number and it'll open up the phone app and that way people can call you for deliveries um, and it's gonna look like, don't mind that screen right there, we're gonna cover that in a second, it's gonna look like this. So you can change the color of the link or the font, you know, the font and you can put it anywhere but what we're gonna make is gonna look just like this and then people can click it on mobile and it'll open up the phone app and place a call. If I click it right now on a browser on a desktop, it just does this, which is normal. Um, so we can click do nothing, but I don't make phone calls from my iMac, I make them from my phone. So ordering delivery is just one example. You might need a phone number on your business website and we can of course think of more. Let's see how to do it. We need to open up our Sydney websites, and here we are on the demo website made in how to make a WordPress website with Sydney, the original video. And we can easily put a phone number anywhere just by clicking customize in the upper left. And then we can click on site title tagline logo and just punch in a phone number right there. Just like that, easy. And you can get the phone number in any format the way we do it, it won't matter the format, and uh, that's up to you in terms of styling. However you think a phone number should be written, you can write it. Um, I think this looks good for a phone number. So that's really easy. You can just save and publish, close, and you'll have a phone number on your site. But it's not clickable on mobile, all right? which is what we want. So to make it clickable, we have to actually go back to the dashboard, and we have to go to Appearance, hover on Appearance, and click editor and now we have to do some crazy code editing but it's not that crazy because I'm going to show you how to do all of it and it's really easy if you can just follow right here so we click header.php now most themes have this file open up your header.php in Sydney theme or whatever theme you're in and we want to find that place where the site tagline lives so I'm going to open up our demo site we want to just find where this is on the back end. So where it is when we edit it is in customize, but this certain section also exists in the editor files because anything that's in here on the editor is on the front page. It just looks like code and it doesn't look that nice. But I know where this lives and I'm going to show you because we need to edit it. It's in header.php and it's called h2 class equals site description right here. You just need to find this file, or sorry, this line right here that I'm highlighting. And then once we find it, we're gonna edit it. But first we can do like a uh, select all, copy paste of this whole file into a blank text file so that if we ever make a mistake, we can just paste it back in and it'll go back to normal. So I'd recommend doing that in a blank text file. There we go. I'll delete that later, you know, once we're done and safely done. And then what you need to do is bring your mouse to this line again. And we're gonna edit the portion that says alligator question mark PHP blog info question mark close alligator. This is what we're gonna edit. All right, so we can start by hitting delete or space, whatever you want. You can hit delete and get the alligator brackets like they are now up next to each other. And then we're just gonna write in a simple link. So if you can follow with me, we're gonna write alligator a href, make sure there's a space there, equals quotation mark. Now we're gonna write tell colon forward slash forward slash plus and then whatever phone number you wanna write you ever, whatever phone number is your business phone number. So I'm gonna write in 212-243-5700, which is the number of dominoes in Midtown Manhattan. Don't ask how I have that memorized. 
and you know whatever you want to write just make sure you put a plus and then the area code and then the uh, whole phone number without any spaces that's how it should look like this and I don't know if it matters but we can also put a one I think that's good good form that's the best form we can have for the phone number all right so the link is gonna go to the phone number when someone clicks it the browser or the phone is gonna say go to telephone instead of go to HTTP you can see we just replaced the HTTP like a normal link with the tell so that's just how a telephone number link looks and now we need to write in the actual anchor text you can close the alligator or we'll close that part of the alligator and then write in the phone number with the formatting you want 212243-5700 and again this formatting and styling is up to you you can include the parentheses or not try it out and whatever you want and think looks good you can put right here you could even put just like call me and then the link for the phone number would be on call me so that's how it works the important phone number is in the quotation marks and we also need a closing quotation mark right there before the alligator I forgot that one so make sure you have the telephone surrounded by quotation marks like this all right so we're also gonna revert back to the phone number And then we just need to write in open alligator forward slash a close alligator bracket to close off the link. All right, so once your screen looks like mine with your phone number in here instead, then we can click update file. And now when we go to our website and refresh, there's going to be a link on the phone number instead of just the phone number as text. Now it's a clickable working link. And of course you could put this on any part of your website. I just thought it looked good in the header because when we are on mobile, then it looks uh, you know, at the top of the screen. People can see the phone number right away. And you know, that's usually what they want is to call us for information.